Hi you all, this is Anjali and in this video we are going to discuss some important lab exercises for your practical exam. These lab exercises are not only important for the practical exam but they are also important for your theory exam because this is usually the part of question number 4 in your board exam that's generally H, G or H part and it carries up to 5 marks maximum. So, you can get these type of questions to do in your practical as well as these questions comes in the theory exam collectively for 4 to 5 marks. So, we will be solving in this video these questions in NetBeans. I will be explaining you how to do them over there and how should you write it when it is asked in the theory exam. Now, you can see the first question says that Ms. Sharma works as a programmer in ABC car rental company where she has designed a software to compute charges to be paid by the client. The screenshot is given like this. So this is a label where it's written the heading of the screen. That's ABC Car Rentals. Then I have name and a text field in front of that, phone number. So these white ones are usually text fields. The others are the labels. And these one with the round buttons are your radio buttons. So we have three radio buttons, deluxe car, semi-deluxe car and ordinary car. And this one is a checkbox for guide required. Then we have car required for number of days. There are three buttons, calculate, clear and close. And these are again text fields. Now this is the screen which we need to design in NetBeans. And then we get the questions, what all we are supposed to do. Now here it's told that a client can take any car out of the three type of cars for rent. Then a client can also opt for services of a guide. So if the checkbox is ticked, means the client has opted for the services. And if the checkbox is not ticked, means the client has not opted for the services. Charges vary depending on the type of car opted. So charges of services are calculated this way. So we have to select the radio button. That means the user has to select the radio button. And we have to see which one is selected. For example, if deluxe car is selected, we have to charge 1000 rupees per day. If it is semi-deluxe car, it should be 800 per day. For an ordinary car, it should be 700 per day. Now, amount is obtained by multiplying per day charges of car with number of days for which the car is taken. If guide required checkbox is selected, guide charges per day are rupees 500. Then guide charges is calculated as car required for number of days multiplied by 500. So per day guide charges are there. So this also needs to be multiplied by number of days. And the total amount will be amount plus guide charges. Now this question is for 3 marks. So this question comes for 3 marks in your written exam. Then we have question like clear button is clicked. All text fields and check boxes should be cleared. This is for 1 mark. And when close button is clicked, the application should close. This is again for 1 mark. So in total, either you get this question in theory, it will be 5 marks. Even if you get in practical, this is for 5 marks. Now, the thing of close and clear, you'll see that the coding for clear and close is almost the same in all the codes. So this is something which you can get very easily, 1 mark for close and 1 mark for clear. This 3 mark coding actually depends from question to question. So it varies from question to question. Let's see how are we going to do this question. So for doing this question... I need to design this screen in NetBeans first. So I need the heading ABC car rentals. Then I have name, phone number, car required for the number of days and all these options. Okay, let's go to NetBeans and design this. So here I have NetBeans. So we go to file and then from here you select new file option and make sure in which project your file is being added. And then we select Swing GUI form and from here J frame and I click on next. So this is for ABC car rental. I just give it the name as ABC. This will give me a frame where I have to design the thing. So in obviously theory exam you don't need to design you just need to write the code. But if this question is given in your practicals you need to design the screen as well. For designing the screen, I take a label first of all and, and right click on the label, click on this and write here ABC car rental and you could see that ABC car rental was a bit big and it was 
coming in the center and all. So you can go to properties, right click on the label, click on properties and then you get options like font. So I can click here and choose the font. I want it bigger so I can make it 24. I can make it bold and I can do OK. And you can change the color and all also if you want. So foreground option is there. So with the help of foreground, you can change the color as well. So this is ABC car rental. Then I need other things for the customer details. And for customer details, we had customer name and the text field in front of that. So I pick up a text field, I make it a bit bigger. Then I want the text field should be initially blank. So I remove the text by right clicking and clicking on edit text. Now every text field has a name like this text field has a name as J text field one. So I right click on it and click on change variable name. When you do programming, you can either change their names to T1, T2, T3, or you can give meaningful names as J text field one is by default. You can give as uh, TXT customer name, TXT phone number, something like that. So we can do that way as well. So it's totally up to you as how you want to code for this. So we need for customer name, then we need phone number, car required for number of days. Okay. So when you're making it, actually, you don't have to design it again and again. Select both of these, press control and C to copy this. And if you are not able to press control and C together, you can right click and copy from here as well. And then the shortcut key is control V or you can press right button of the mouse and click on paste option. I'm using control V to paste. It's V, V for van, control V. Then I need the tour charges, guide charges, and the total amount. So these three things have to be shown. So I've taken text fields for all of these. Bring them a bit over here. So we had customer name, then I needed phone number, so right here, phone number, and then right click on this, edit text, this was number of days, car required, and this is the rent, the total, the amount, then guide charges and total amount. So we have to show in this amount. So I click on edit text and write here amount. Then over here, I need to write guide charges. And this is your total amount. And then we have to define the radio buttons. Okay, so we pick up the radio button from here. So I take this radio button, one, two, and three. So I need to make three of them. So we make three radio buttons here. And we need one checkbox. And checkbox, I need to show guide required. And the name of the checkbox can also be changed by change variable name. So I change it to C1. Then we have three radio buttons. And for three radio buttons, the options should be deluxe car, semi deluxe car, and ordinary car. So I just write down the options by editing the text of the radio buttons. So edit text, and then we write semi deluxe car. And this one is. ordinary car okay so the design is almost done but there is one problem that I have three radio buttons over here so one thing is I can change their name if I want so I'm changing their name and the second thing is when we make radio buttons we have to make sure that user should be able to select only one of the three options so here I have three options and I want user should be able to select only one out of those but by default nothing like that would happen for that, you need to add one more control called button group. Yes, do remember this because this is not visible on the screen. So you might skip it, but you must put this button group here. 
just leave the button group on the screen you can't see anywhere on the screen over here but what you have to do is you have to right click on the radio button go to the properties and here you have a property called button group which is none by default select button group 1 in this similarly click on the second radio button go to this and from button group select button group 1 then select the third one go to properties and select button group 1 and then close so all three are in the same button group now that means only one of these three can get selected by the user so we're almost done with the design we are just left with three buttons that is clear calculate and close so we make three buttons on the first one I write clear on the second one I write calculate and on the third one we write close now the easiest coding which you have to do is for close so to code for any of the button you just need to double click on that button so it comes to the code window and you can see if the cursor is over here private void j button 3 action performed that means if action button 3 is clicked so what we have to do so what we have to do we have to close the frame and for closing the frame there is a fixed command that is system dot exit zero make sure you write s capital for system so it is system dot exit and in brackets zero zero means we are exiting of our own without any error so this is the same line it never changes so one mark in your theory and in practical anyhow is yours then comes the clear button clear button is to clear the text fields now to clear the text fields, what we need to write is, we just need to write T1, that is name of the text field, whatever it is. In my code, I have T1, T2, T3 as text fields. So I just need to write T1.set text and in brackets, empty double quotes. So when you write empty double quotes, that makes your text field blank. That means whatever was written in the text field would be erased and it will become blank. I need this for six text fields. So, I've just copied and pasted it and over here it should be T3, T4, T5 and T6. But it was also given in the question that you have to clear the checkbox. So, if I need to remove the tick mark from the checkbox, I have a function called set selected. So, you have to write checkbox name dot set selected S capital and in brackets I have to give false. So C1 dot set selected false will remove the tick mark from the checkbox if it is there. So this is how we've done coding for clear and close. And now comes the major thing that is calculate. Now, when I have to think of coding for the calculate button, first of all, do we need customer name for calculation? No. Do we need phone number for calculation? No. We need number of days car required. Yes, so I need to get text this. That means I need to input this. And I need to calculate all these three depending upon the radio buttons and checkboxes selection. So I need to get this thing. And these three things have to be set. And calculations have to be done on the basis of this thing that which radio button or checkbox is selected. So let's see the conditions once again. So the conditions we had with this that if it's a deluxe car, it's 1000. Semi deluxe is 8 and ordinary is 700 and 500 we need to charge for the guide. Okay. Now let's see how are we going to code for this. So I double click on calculate. The cursor comes here. I take integer variables for number of days. So I take a variable num days. Then I need for amount. Then I need for guide charges. Then I need for total. So these are the variables. We have to read the number of days. So num days is equal to integer dot parson. And when you're typing, make sure the functions appear of their own like this. That tells you that you're writing correct. If the function name is not appearing like this, means you're writing something wrong. So you need to check that. So I have read the value of T3 because T1 was for name, T2 was for phone number, and T3 is for the number of days. Now I need to check which radio button is selected. So for that we have a function called is selected. So I'm going to use if here because it has to be a condition. 
So if R1 dot is selected, that is your deluxe car is selected, then the amount should be 1000 multiplied by the number of days. Else if, if R1 is not selected, we check out that if R2 is selected. So if R2 is selected, that means semi deluxe is selected. For that, we need to find 800 into number of days. And obviously, if the upper two are not selected, we assume that the ordinary is selected. So in that case, we need to charge 700 per day. So it should be 700 into number of days. So I'm done with the amount. Now I need to check whether the guide is required or not. So I'm going to put a separate if. It's not related with the upper if else thing. So I'm going to check that if the checkbox is selected or not. If the checkbox is selected, so guide charges should be 500 multiplied by number of days. Else guide charges should be 0. So we have found the guide charges. So first if else block is to find the amount. The second one is to find the guide charges. And now the total amount will be the amount plus the guide charges. And we are going to show this all in the respective text fields. So I'm going to show amount in T4. So write amount. And we need to concatenate a blank string with it so that it's converted to a string. Okay, it should not be set to action. It should be set text. Then similarly, T5 dot set text. And that should be the guide charges. And finally, in T6, we need to show the total. So we show the total in T6. So this is my final code where I have read the number of days and then I've used else if to find the amount, then if else to find the guide charges and then I find the net amount as amount plus guide charges and I show them in their respective text fields. So this code is for three marks in your theory exam but for practical everything depends on this only because if you write this code correct your program will run otherwise it won't. So now I just run this code and I'll get the screen here. So it's opening up. That means it's usually at times a bit slow. So have patience. It will just open up and we'll see the output on the screen. And this is what you have to show in your practicals that how your program is working. So it's just opening up. So this is the frame. Then I enter the customer name. I enter some number, then I enter that I need it for five days. I want deluxe car, I don't need a guide, and I click on calculate. So, five into thousand is five thousand, there are no guide charges, and the total amount is five thousand. If I say I need a guide, so I'll have five hundred per day extra, that is twenty five hundred per day extra, and the total amount would be seventy five hundred. If I select this, then it'll be charged as for eight hundred. If I select this, if I click on clear, everything is clear along with the stick mark from here. And if you close, it gets closed. So this is how we code in NetBeans for the given problem in your practical exam. And this is how you write the code in your theory exam. So this code is for three marks. This code is for one mark. And that system.exit is another thing for one mark. So two marks, that is the code for clear button and the code for close button is very simple to get. Just need to put some brains when you have to do the question for three marks. That is where you have to check conditions and you have to do the calculations. So always check the screen properly, like what exactly has to be done. Then decide what you have to take as an input. That means what you have to get. Then do the calculations and set those values which are expected as result from the screen. So this is how we code for the screens in Java. I hope you understood how it's working. If there is anything which you're not able to understand, do write in the comment section. Now let's see one more question. So there's another question like this. Here we have a personal budget plan. The person should enter the total income. The person should enter the expenses, like how much he spent on bills, how much on groceries, entertainment, and other expenses. 
then there is a checkbox saying money to be sent to hostel if that one is selected then we have to add some amount obviously it will be given in the question and what we need to show is the sum of expenses then grand total of expenses and savings i'm not going to make it in net beams but i'll tell you how to write the code for this so the question over here is when calculate button is clicked sum of expenses total expenses and savings should be calculated and displayed in appropriate text fields that's for three marks again the clear button is for one mark and the close button is for one mark so you very well know how to do the code for clear and close uh, just look for this code now here what they have told sum of expenses is calculated by adding expenses on bills that is water electricity grocery entertainment and other expenses grand total is calculated by the sum of expenses plus 3000 if the checkbox that is money to be sent to hostel is selected if it is not then the grand expenses grand total of expenses is same as sum of expenses and savings is total income minus grand total of expenses so if i have to write this code if i have to write this code here i'm just writing the code anywhere like this but it's not going to execute Let's say we just take a separate button and I write the code in this. So if you have to write the code for this one, what we need to do is we need to read the income. We need to read all the expenses. So what you should be writing is you need one variable for the income, one for the bills, one for uh, the grocery, one for... Let me check what all were there. So it's bills, grocery, entertainment and other expenses. So ENT for entertainment, other expenses as OE and hostel one is HT. Okay, and then we need sum of expenses SEXP. Then we need grand total expenses and saving. So we need all these variables here income has to be read from the user so it should be integer dot percent we are reading the value from t1 so we have the first value here then we have to read all other four type of expenses here so all those four expenses we need to read from t2 t3 T4, T5 and where we have to read them like the first thing, the first expenses has to be read in bills, then it is grocery, then it is entertainment, then is other expenses. So we've got this and we have to find the sum of the expenses. So it should be bills plus grocery plus entertainment plus other expenses now you need to check that if c1 dot is selected if that hostel checkbox is selected then the brand expenses should be sum of expenses plus 3000 otherwise it should be the same so brand expenses should be equal to the sum of expenses and finally I need to find the saving that should be income minus grand expenses and then you need to show the values so you just need to write t3 dot set text here I have to show the sum of expenses and then in t7 you have to show grand in t8 you have to show the saving so that's how we write the code so this code will give you the result in the respective text fields. So this is how we solve questions. I hope you understood how this works. In case of doubt, do write in the comment section. I'll be coming up soon with more videos of explaining such questions. And in case you really found it useful, it was of use to you, you understood something out of it, do like the video and share with your classmates. And in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet, do subscribe it. Thank you.